we want to graph the solution to the quadratic inequality y greater than the quantity x plus 3 squared minus 4. Notice the inequality symbol is greater than, not greater than or equal to, which means the graph of the parabola is going to be dashed. Let's make a note of this. And now let's graph the corresponding quadratic function, which is y equals the quantity x plus 3 squared minus 4. Notice how the quadratic function is in vertex form, or this form here, sometimes called standard form, where a would be equal to 1, and because we have to have x minus h here, and we have x plus 3, h is negative 3. So if we wanted to, we could rewrite this as y equals 1 times the quantity x minus negative 3 squared minus 4, if that's helpful, to identify a as well as h and k. Notice because a is positive 1, we know the graph opens up. And again, the vertex has coordinates h comma k, where h is negative 3 and k is negative 4. So the vertex is the ordered pair negative 3 comma negative 4. Let's go ahead and plot the vertex on the coordinate plane. Negative 3 comma negative 4 is this point here, the vertex. Because we know this is the vertex, and the axis of symmetry is a vertical line that passes through the vertex, we also know this is the axis of symmetry with an equation x equals negative 3. And now let's find some additional points on the graph. Let's find the vertical intercept or y-intercept by setting x equal to 0. So using the corresponding quadratic function, substituting 0 for x, we have y equals the quantity 0 plus 3 squared minus 4, which gives us y equals 3 squared minus 4. 3 squared is 9, 9 minus 4 is 5, which means the y-intercept or vertical intercept is the ordered pair 0 comma 5. Let's go ahead and plot this on the coordinate plane. So 0 comma 5 is this point here on the vertical axis. Notice how it's 3 units to the right of the axis of symmetry which means there must be a corresponding point three units to the left of the axis of symmetry, which would be here. Because we have the axis of symmetry, every time we find one point, we can actually plot two points by using the symmetry across the axis of symmetry. So we do have enough information to make a nice graph of the parabola, but let's also find the horizontal intercepts or x-intercepts. We do this by setting y equal to zero. So if we set y equal to 0, we have 0 equals the quantity x plus 3 squared minus 4. To solve for x, we add 4 to both sides, giving us 4 equals the quantity x plus 3 squared. And now to undo the squaring, we square root both sides of the equation. But we are going to have two solutions, and therefore we need to include a plus or minus on the left. So we square root the right, square root the left, include a plus or minus. The square root of four is two, giving us plus or minus two is equal to the quantity x plus three. Solve for x, we subtract three on both sides, which gives us x equals negative three plus or minus two. So one value of x, or one x-intercept, is negative three plus two. And negative three plus two is negative one. And the second x-intercept, or second solution, is negative 3 minus 2, which is negative 5. So the ordered pairs for the x-intercepts are negative 1 comma 0 and negative 5 comma 0. Let's go ahead and plot these points on the coordinate plane. So negative 1 comma 0 is here, negative 5 comma 0 is here. Notice how both of these points are two units from the axis of symmetry. And now we'll go ahead and make a graph of the parabola, but remember, we do make a dashed graph. So here's the graph of the dashed parabola. And then the last step is to determine whether we shade inside the parabola or outside the parabola. Going back to the original inequality, we have y is greater than the quantity x plus 3 squared minus 4. Because we have y is greater than the quantity x plus 3 squared minus 4, we shade above the parabola, or above the vertex, which would be inside the parabola here.
Just to be sure though, we should select a point in this region to make sure it satisfies the original inequality. We can select any point in this region, just not any point on the parabola. Let's select this point here with the ordered pair negative three comma zero. So for the ordered pair negative three comma zero, to see if it satisfies the inequality, we substitute negative three for x and zero for y. Performing the substitution gives us zero greater than the quantity negative three plus three squared minus four. Simplifying, we have zero is greater than, this would be zero squared of zero minus four, giving us negative four. Zero is greater than negative four, meaning this region is the solution to the original quadratic inequality. Any point in this region will satisfy the original inequality. I hope you found this helpful.